Hey everyone, this is Curb Knight, bringing you another standard match, and today we are going to be going into the All Decisive Game 3 with my Dragon Tree deck. So we are actually going to be going up against MLB, uh, the, I guess, protagonist deck from the first season of Vanguard. So we'll see if MLB can take down the latest antagonist in Vanguard history. Anyways, we are going to be starting off pretty basic, just uh, riding into the Marin, and then of course myself not riding at all, and just putting a Calamity card into the soul. We are going to be seeing the Blaster Blade Ridden using the Marin skill in order to check the top 7 cards of the deck and adding one Blaster unit. Of course, if we had missed, we would have been able to call out the Wingle Brave. But of course, we are going to be getting that Blaster Dark. So that's going to get us to those two differently named Blasters, the Blaster Dark and the Blaster Blade itself, that we're going to be needing in order to activate MLB's skill, giving itself an extra 2k and the critical. So it looks like we're just going to be using the Blaster Blade skill pretty good. Uh, since there are no rearguards to retire, because obviously I'm not going to be calling down a trigger unit, we do actually get to draw a card as comp compensation. Swinging with the Blaster Blade boosted by that Grade 1, which I believe is a promo we just got in the Festival Clash, and actually hitting into a heal trigger there, so healing down once again to zero. So, I'm going to be making my life a little bit harder because, well, well to be honest, we Dragon Tree is a deck that wants the game to go on for a very long time. But at the same time, it doesn't really have the sustainability to maintain that kind of play style. But we do see the, um, the what's her face, the grade 2 that actually is, I find to be very, very annoying. But we do see the Soul Blast 1, check top 5. You do get to add a black, or I believe you add a blaster to your hand and then you discard a card or you call a blaster. Most of the time we're just going to be calling it. Of course, we do see a whiff off of that. Not going to be able to add anything. However, uh, with that blaster dark in hand, we can totally just call that down, which looks like it was what we're going to be doing here. Obviously not using the skill because why would you swing the blaster dark and then the grade 2 is going to be getting 5k every single time a blaster unit attacks. So just going to be guarding that with a draw trigger, swinging the MLB using the skill to put the blaster dark in the soul, which does enable MLB to gain an extra drive. Swing for 23 and now that we do have both blasters in the soul, that is going to be an extra critical and 2k to its base power. I do not want to get... Uh, that much damage this quickly, so I'm going to be PGing it. But we do actually see a heal trigger off the first check, which means that we heal down to zero, meaning we can't actually use the Grade One's skill, which would allow you to pop out both a Blaster Blade and a Blaster Dark from the Soul. Uh, so I think we do a little bit of a misplay here. Uh, we forgot to count in the extra uh, 10k that that Grade Two got from the two Blasters attacking, in addition to the heal trigger that we saw. So I'm going to be guarding that for 25, even though that attack should have really been 30. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to be the only time we're going to miss calculating this power. But of course, now I am going to be able to ride into my grade 10 and calling out the Dragon Tree Wrench. You think with all the times I've had to say this name that I would have looked it up at least once. But nope, I'm still just going to call it the grade 2 Dragon Tree Wrench. But anyways, using its skill, getting that all-important third Dragon Tree marker is going to be getting our Vanguard an extra critical for at any time that it attacks as well as an extra 5k and getting the Ask of Hydreigon to our hand activating it immediately checking the top five I should have a lot of uh, targets hitting into another Dragon Tree Wrench uh, unfortunately I won't be able to use its skill because not only am I out of soul I am also out of counter blast but I think we're probably just going to be calling it down because I do need to have a nice attacker. The one good thing about this matchup is that all your 10Ks are hitting 15Ks, which actually still does hit against MLB because MLB is a 15K base. Uh, we are going to be trying to take out that grade 2, and it is going to be connecting. It's a very nice number, hitting a 15 out of 10K, so we're just going to be letting it fall. Uh, swinging the Vanguard for 28 at the for a, it was a 35K guard. Hitting into a front trigger there, which was... Ooh, a little bit scary for my opponent, but unfortunately we don't see that second trigger because that was a two to pass. We went up to 30, um, let's see, 28, 38 against his uh, 38 or 30 or 40. Yeah, 40. 
because of the extra 5k that MLB gets. Um, that made a little bit of difference. Just almost forgetting to remove that Calamity card. Of course, as I said before, it is a mandatory effect. Calling down the Grade 2 once again. Soul Blasting 1, checking the top 5, and this time actually hitting, calling the Blaster Dark off of the skill. So things are do looking pretty good with for the MLB player. We do they do only have one CB, which is I guess a little concerning because this is a deck that can kind of use the CB pretty well, and then like the the least the less amount of CB that MLB has, the less like extra things that it can do. Um, but of course, MLB is also a deck that can do a lot of things without that CB, as we're going to be seeing here. The grade one in the back row does actually enable all of your grade twos to have a boost. And unfortunately, I'm not playing a deck that has removal, so this is going to be kind of awkward for me. So swinging the Blaster Blade line um, with the uh, Persona Ride Power 30, just going to be putting down that front trigger, swinging the MLB, using this skill to put both Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark into the soul, getting to retire one and getting an extra drive. He into a critical trigger, but also hitting into a heal trigger, which means they are once again going to heal down to zero and they won't be able to use the skill of the grade one, which would let them pop the Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark out of the soul and even get a fourth attack from that. But we are gonna be swinging this um, Grade 2, which I believe should be at 60. Um, yeah, it's 20 from Persona Ride, 30 with boost, uh, 40 with one trigger, 50 with two triggers, and then an extra 10k from the two blaster swings. But unfortunately, I believe we're going to miscount this yet again. And I think we said that it was 50. So with my two defensive triggers, I am going to be guarding for another 20, making the total shield value, for, uh, not 43, 53, which... Um, my opponent told me 50, so that would be enough for that card. Anyways, we are going to be Persona Riding using the Dragon Wrenches skill once again. Uh, apparently, I managed to get another one after searching the second one. Getting my Mask of Hydreigon and, more importantly, getting the next Dragon Tree Marker. That Dragon Tree Marker is going to give us another 5k to the Vanguard. So getting a 20k boost in total. Um, of course, our opponent is still at zero somehow. So uh, we are going to be needing to push a lot of damage. And of course, the opponent's hand has been just massive from not having to really guard any of the attacks. Uh, so honestly, we are we're getting closer to our win con, I suppose. So maybe not the worst. Activating that Master Hydreigon and seeing the Persona Ride off the top and just going to be taking that for next turn. Although my ability to reach next turn is looking a little bit mm, shaky. I am at 4. MLB is going to be swinging for 2 damage every time it does. And I think I am running very low on PGs at this point. We did see one um, get taken off when I act when I uh, PG the first Grade 3 Vanguard Swing. We are seeing the Grade 1 Wrench coming down, Counter Blasting the 1 to get my last Dragon Tree Marker. Uh, I am going to try and use the skill of the Best Alvis, but of course I don't actually have any soul anymore since I did search out the Mask of Hydreigon, so I'm going to be opting to just call the Cactus Man. And I'm thinking just uh, depending on the numbers, normally a 18k column would be pretty good, but since we are facing off against MLB, actually having just two 10ks uh, is much better. So we're going to be swinging at the Vanguard, not going to be PGing that, taking the two damage, getting a defensive, which is going to be making things extremely annoying, uh, making it much more difficult for me to actually push any more damage this turn. But I believe we are just going to focus on taking out that grade two because I really, really do hate that grade two. It is very, very annoying. So swinging a 38 at it uh, makes sense because the Vanguard is already at 25. So if we were to swing that 38, that's just a 15k guard. But we are going to swing the 40k. Uh, MLB is not the only deck that can boost with grade twos. Uh, but swinging it at the Vanguard, that is pretty good because it is going to be a 20k shield. So forcing the opponent to commit the two cards. Although really, realistically, you probably could have just taken that. I mean, just going two to three is not that big of a difference. You don't have to worry about healing down yet again. So um, not really in that bad of a situation. And we'll be still has a ton of cards in hand just because Dragon Tree is not really a deck that can put out a lot of offensive ability, especially when the opponent is at low damage. But we don't see a Persona Ride, so this Blaster Column is gonna be swinging at the Vanguard. I'm gonna opt to double intercept, because remember that grade two can actually intercept from the back row so long as it is 
on a Dragon Tree marker. So we are seeing the, seeing the MLB coming through, sucking up both of the blasters, uh, retiring the Grade 2, and of course getting Triple Drive since we put in the Blaster Dark. Hitting into a draw trigger there, giving the power to, power to the Spiral Cutie, using the skill finally of the Grade 1 in order to pop back out the Blaster Blade and Blaster Dark out of the soul, giving us that fourth attack. Of course, it is still only 20, which is just a 10k guard. I'm going to choose to take it, hoping for a defensive, because um, if I do get a defensive, that means I don't have to guard against this last uh, swing. But unfortunately, that defensive is not really stickly going to be happening. Uh, so we are going to five. Of course, we do have the last two Persona Rides in hand. We drove Trek one, and then of course, we did add the others to the hand through the Mask of Hydreigon. But of course, it is very, very dicey. Um, going into this turn, uh, my ability to actually survive is going to be in very much question as we use the Bist skill in order to add back the Mask of Hydreigon. Realistically, just um, kind to deck thin, um, playing it right away. Honestly, at this point, I'm very low on targets, but um, uh, honestly, I probably should have just kept it in hand. And I'm also out of PGs at this point. I've used two PGs and the other two are still in my deck, but we do see the Tideline Dragon coming on down, using its skill, giving both sides an extra 10k. So this is actually gonna be a pretty strong swing. The Vanguard swing by itself for 61, hitting into a draw trigger there. And then of course, another blank pinging the opponent for that two damage. We're not gonna see a single defensive coming on down. So if they want to actually guard this all these attacks, they are going to have to be committing a lot of cards from hand. So this token column is going to be 50k on its own, going to be guarding for the 40. Um, that should put us up to 45. Um, of course, now we do have all three Calamity cards swinging the last um, swing at the Vanguard, going to be hit with a PG. So next turn, I will be able to activate that over trigger, assuming I'm able to live. Uh, things are looking pretty good, considering we don't see another Persona ride from MLB, and we are just swinging for the 20k again. And then even if we are using the uh, MLB skill to retire the Tideline and get that triple drive, which is honestly like another reason MLB is actually a little bit legit. I don't think I mentioned that, but I, I kind of believe in MLB right now. Some of the stuff that it's doing right now is kind of scary. Of course, I don't have a PG, so I'm going to have to hard guard this 23 uh, for 38. We're going to see a PG, a PG, and a Spiral Cutie. So even though I have my explosive turn next turn, uh, with those double PGs, I don't realistically see myself winning, especially since the opponent is still at only four. I would have to get two attacks in, um, and these last two attacks are just going to be 20k, so very easy for me to actually survive. So I do have that last Persona right in my hand. So this final turn is going to be as powerful as I can make it, calling down a heal trigger um, because that is all I have left in my hand. I don't actually have anything else. Um, no more cards, but we are going to be activating the skill of the Bist Alvos. Um, I probably should have done that before calling the grade zero because I'm going to be adding the Mask of Hydreigon to my hand and then checking the top five to see if I have a target. We are going to be hitting a target in that Bist Alvos. Probably should have just called that uh, instead of actually just calling the heal trigger. But um, this is a very hype moment. We are running low on cards in deck, but we can still attack um, and live at least another two turns. But... Um, this is one of the few times Dragon Tree has actually ever made it to the all-important turn seven. Um, probably, uh, once again, I'm just going to be calling a full Bist Alvos back row. And of course, I am going to be able to get five attacks this turn as we swing at the first Vanguard or the first swing at the Vanguard for 33. Um, normally, this would be hitting for a lot better if the opponent was at 13 because that would be a 25 point k shield but since mlb has an extra 2k it is only going to be an extra um 20k so swinging the vanguard activating the skill of the over trigger standing everything on my dragon tree markers healing a card getting an extra critical and drawing two cards of course, I am going to be the 100 middling into my rear guard because obviously I'm pretty sure my, my opponent's going to be uh, just PJing this Vanguard. They can't afford to take this. So, drive check one, a mushrooms, and drive check two, another mushrooms. So, definitely cards I would have liked to see uh, probably like five turns ago. Uh, but unfortunately, um, that 
that OT has kind of just turned into a dud. We're going to swing this other column, this heal trigger, swinging for a nice 43. Going to be blocked with a 40, um, 45, and then the last card, or the last attack is going to be hit with that final PG. So even though I had an explosive turn, I wasn't able to close it out. And But my opponent is still only at two cards in hand, so their ability to actually put on an offense this turn is somewhat limited as they swing for just a 20k. I'm just going to be taking it because um, there is another swing after this with uh, a double column of the Blaster Blades swinging the Vanguard for a 23. Uh, I Now with that Overture, I do actually have cards in hand. So we're going to 33, that's a 1 to pass. And with the Mushrooms, that is going to be a 2 to pass. So now this MLB does have a triple drive, uh, but we'll have, uh, we'll have to see how many triggers there are actually left in the deck as we are going to be acing a triple blank and that Persona Ride finally coming down using the skill of the Grade 1 to once again pop out a column of Blaster Blades. We did forget to push the <laughs> Spiral Cutie up, but it wouldn't have really mattered because... Um, Obviously, we didn't hit any triggers, so it would have just been swinging at a token, guarding the last Blaster Blade attack. And I'm going into this turn. I've used up all of my Persona Rides, and I have three cards left in deck. Uh, the opponent has five cards left, so I really have to kind of rely on... Um, hopefully, I can push this last two damage. Uh, if the opponent is forced to take the Vanguard swing, because it's going to still be a pretty big number, then maybe I have a chance of winning, but we do see that PG in there. Um, I am actually going to swing with a Vanguard first, but then we realize as a group that Dragon Tree actually lets you get five attacks as soon as you have those three um, removed. Uh, because the the, um, the removing of the Overture is actually not a cost, meaning that you can activate that effect because you just apply as much as possible. But of course, without a Persona Ride, these attacks are much more weaker. Swinging the 23, that would have been a 15k guard, but it is just a 10k guard since it's MLB. Swinging the 28, that would be a 20k guard, um, but we do actually hit into a defensive. So any shot I had of actually winning this just kind of went down the drain with that one defensive trigger. Although if we hadn't seen that defensive trigger, maybe there was actually a chance for me to win this because this Vanguard is swinging for 49 and then unfortunately I only have one more attack that hits because the uh, MLB is at 25 now. The heal trigger column is just going to be at um, 23, so that's not going to be able to hit um, the Vanguard, which is at 25. The other one is just 28. We do see me drive checking those two PGs that I would have liked to see like five turns ago, guarding the last attack with the over trigger. So I only have one card left in deck. We're just going to pass, and that is going to be the end of the match. So really fun, really close game with MLB. Probably one of the most fun games I've had in a long time. But I hope you guys enjoyed that match. Um, don't forget to do all those YouTube things. Like, some, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. First heal. You do heal. Uh, power here. Second. Third. Then, oh, I guess I can't even counter boss anymore. <laughs> Alright, 20 to run. Okay. So that's two to press? No. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Third. Heal. I do heal! <laughs> Power! One, two, three. But now I can't, I can't call the boy though! <laughs> Boom. Top five. Come on, Persona Ride. Persona Ride! It's a little late. <laughs> a little late, but maybe next turn, right? Oh. Boom. Oh my god, the boys. Every goddamn field has a Dragon Tree marker. Boom. Yeah, this is your last turn. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but can I live this turn is the real question. <laughs> Two PGs in your hand! Yeah. <laughs> so... Persona Ride! Oh. Call! Oh. Look at my remove from play zone! Dude, I was at one, he was at one, I healed myself twice, and I damaged the knight myself. Because I would heal on one, so I couldn't call them back out. Yeah. So black. This man boss. using heals to attack me. This is his final turn. You're gonna turn. take yourself out. Who, me? No, <laughs> Wait, how many? Wait, what is that? Gonna, I'm yeah, you're gonna draw like twice, AOT. right? Yeah. Besides the fact he has three cows back row. <laughs> That's all he needs. That is all I need. Because this is 13, 23, 33. 20, 15. Uh, boom. That's 35. 33. Uh, 35. Sweet. Skill. 
Activate. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Two cards. No one. way. And I restand everything that's on that Ryuji mark. <laughs> Where's the 100 million, million going? Going, going there? Because you're just going to PG this anyway. Too <laughs> crit. <laughs> yeah, where's the crit going? Crits to the other one. Okay. That's still too crit. Yeah, it is still too crit. Yeah. <laughs> one. Two. Damn it. <laughs> Double streams. That would have been helpful like two turns ago. <laughs> oh, this is gone for me. Oh, so, right? yeah. well, look at my roof from games though. Uh, is there a 35 or 43. Uh, 45. 100 million. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! And on camera. <laughs> Yeah, that's the one that matters more. That's amazing. 20%. Uh, screw that Calpa yeah. kicker. Yeah, screw that one particular. 23. Damn. Dude, I, you're gonna live. You're gonna <laughs> live and win this. That's I can scary. still swing with my Vanguard. Now just call your Blaster Dark and retire his. his oh shoot, I didn't call anything here. <laughs> I didn't push it. Are you, are you gonna love this? How many cards? Three? I can still twin drive. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah. Overcharge is right here. Here to use it. No persona? Here, just I go in. Three personas out. Holy shit. <laughs> you're just going Literally in. Literally everything. Can I even look this? <laughs> you, you just have to buy seven five swings, right? Yeah, that easy. Wait. No, I can't do it again. Yeah. You can. Wait. Can you? It doesn't say it's a cost. I have no idea. It says comma and stand. So and I think you can. Oh, five attacks! That's so <laughs> funny, I've never seen this before! I'm gonna die! 28! <laughs> sure, man. Crap, right? oh, yeah. it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so brutal. <laughs> Wait, if you attack, you lose because this activates, so you draw again. No, I, I don't have one. It has to be from right deck. Oh, okay. So you just restand. Yeah, I just restand. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, think, I think I just die. <laughs> I think I just die. <laughs> just, just no, just, just guard him. Just hold yeah, you have to guard this because this is too damage. Wow, there are my PGs. I think you literally just win. 23. <laughs> Wait, you're at 25. I'm at 25. No! Yeah, I'm at 28. Yo, do you live here? <laughs> <laughs> you're that. just dead. <laughs> Pass turn. <laughs> oh, what, what a goddamn game that was. What the hell was that?